in 391 AD, the Byzantine Emperor Theodosius I declared Christianity as the official state religion of the Roman Empire. He closed all non-Christian temples throughout the empire, including Egypt. This action terminated a 4,000-year civilization, and the message of the ancient Egyptian language was lost for 1,500 years. It was not until the discovery of the Rosetta Stone and the work of Jean-Francois Champollion that the ancient Egyptians awoke from their long slumber. Today, by virtue of the vast quantity of the literature, we know more about Egyptian history, civilization, and religions than most other ancient cultures. The Egyptian hieroglyphic script was one of the writing systems used by ancient Egyptians, mainly by the priests, to represent their language. Because of their pictorial elegance, Herodotus and other important Greek historians believe that Egyptian hieroglyphs was something sacred. So, they refer to them as holy writing. Thus, the word hieroglyph comes from the two Greek words, yiri, graphi. Yiri means holy, and graphi means writing. In the ancient Egyptian language, hieroglyphs were called medunetar which means the words of gods. As it was believed, the writing was an invention of the gods. The script was composed of three basic types of signs, logograms representing words, phonograms representing sounds, and determinatives placed at the end of the word to help clarify its meaning. As a result, the number of signs used by the Egyptians was much higher compared to alphabetical systems with over a thousand different hieroglyphs in use. According to Egyptian legends, Thoth, the god of wisdom, created writing to make the Egyptians wiser. Ra, however, disagreed. He said that delivering the hieroglyphs to humanity would cause them to contemplate their memory and history through written documents rather than relying on their actual memories passed down through generations. Writing a rise view would weaken people's memory and wisdom. In spite of the will of Ra, Thoth gave the techniques of writing to a select number of Egyptians, the scribes. In ancient Egypt, scribes were highly respected for their knowledge and skill in using this gift of the gods, and this position was a vehicle of upward social mobility. According to the historical researches of Egyptologists and archaeologists, origins of the scripts are not known. There are, however, several hypotheses that have been put forth. One of the most convincing views claims that it arose in the late pre-dynastic period just before 2925 BC. There were contacts between Egypt and Mesopotamia at this time, and it has been thought that the concept of writing was borrowed from the Sumerians. This is certainly possible, but even if this was the case, the two systems were so different in their use of science 
that it is clear that they developed independently. The Egyptians first used hieroglyphs exclusively for inscription carved or painted on the temple walls. This form of pictorial writing was also used on tombs, sheets of papyrus, potsherds, and fragments of limestone. Other inscribed surfaces, such as ceramic, metal, and stone, both flakes and steely, are also known from early royal tombs. Hieroglyphics are an original form of writing, out of which all other forms have evolved. Hieroglyphic This was the oldest version of the script, characterized by its elegant pictorial appearance. These signs are typically found in monument inscriptions and funerary contexts. Two of the newer forms were called hieratic and demotic. Hieratic was a simplified form of hieroglyphics used by priests and temple scribes who wanted to simplify the process of writing. It was used for administrative and business purposes, as well as for literary, scientific, and religious texts. Demotic, a Greek word meaning popular scripts. It is a more abbreviated script, lacking any pictorial trace. It first appeared in the 7th century BC. It was in general use for the daily requirements of the society. In the 3rd century AD, hieroglyphic writing began to be replaced by Coptic, a form of Greek writing used by Christian Egyptians. The last hieroglyphic text was written at the Temple of Philae in 450 AD. The spoken Egyptian language was superseded by Arabic in the Middle Ages. Thus, the written language of the ancient Egyptians plunged into oblivion for nearly two millennia. It was not until the 19th century that Egyptian hieroglyphs were deciphered. In 1798, Napoleon Bonaparte went to Egypt with many researchers and they covered several Egyptian texts and images. One year later, the Rosetta Stone was found. A decree of Ptolemy V in 196 BC was inscribed in the Rosetta Stone in three scripts with the same text written in Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic writing. Jean-Francois Champollion unraveled the mystery. He identified the name of Ptolemy written on the Rosetta Stone by comparing the hieroglyphs with the Greek translation. Then he continued to study the names using an obelisk from Philae, now in Dorset, England. The obelisk had the name of Ptolemy and the Cleopatra written on it. This made it possible to conclude that the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic writing was a mixture of signals representing sounds, ideas, and words, not a common alphabet. It was discovered that Egyptian hieroglyphs are read either in columns from top to bottom or in rows from the right or from the left. When human and animal hieroglyphs face or look toward the left, they almost always must be read from left to right 
and vice versa. In 1828, Champollion published his famous book in French. Précis du système hiéroglyphique des anciens Égyptiens. Précis of the hieroglyphic system of the ancient Egyptians. That book marked the first real breakthrough in reading hieroglyphs. Literary studies simply confirmed and refined Champollion's work. Thus, the world could finally read into Egyptian history. And when we could read into Egyptian history, we could know the history, cultures, literatures, religions, ethics, habits, and customs of the peoples who lived in the ancient Middle East and who had a great impact on our modern world.